Hello lovelies, this is Megan from Little Hot Tamale and today we are going to create the perfect gift for our friends and family for the holidays. And best of all, there are going to be a few variations on the project. For starters, you can create a dual purpose interactive mini album. On the top, there are beautiful pages filled with memories and then on the bottom, you can fill it with your favorite little trinkets. And for me, I filled mine with my favorite glitter mix. Or you can create a mini album similar to this one, and it's just a large book ring and several beautiful pages that you can fill with memories for your loved ones. And I really like this one because it's super simple and very quick. Okay, to get started, you're going to pick out some of your favorite scrapbook paper, and I'm using the Craftsmith paper pad called Pun Intended because I thought it would be perfect for some of my besties. And then you're going to use a thick or heavy chipboard that measures three and a half inches by five and a half inches. And you're just going to trace that on your pattern paper. And you can find heavy chipboard at most craft stores in the scrapbooking department. But I bought my chipboard in a large sheet at Hobby Lobby in the framing department. It's kept where the map boards are for framing. Next, we're going to glue our paper to our chipboard. And I like to add just a little bit of glue to the top so I have a place to hold onto the chipboard and line up my paper. And then once it's all in place, then I lift the paper up and glue the rest of it down and try to take your time and get all of the air bubbles out so that your paper lays nice and flat. And to be honest, the best glue for this project to use is actually PVA book binding glue and you brush it on with a paintbrush. But you can always use a glue stick like I did. Next, we're going to add a little bit of sparkle to our project. And for me, I'm using rose gold chunky glitter. And to adhere it, I'm using my favorite adhesive for glitter, Glossy Accents. And we're just going to add glitter all the way around the edges and maybe just a little bit on the front. Now, if you're going to gift this project for a guy, I don't recommend using glitter because most guys don't like glitter. <laughs> So you can always use ribbon. That's always a fun option. And to adhere ribbon, I would use a hot glue gun. Okay, so for the bottom, you're going to take a card holder and these can be found at Hobby Lobby. And you're just going to measure approximately where it's going to be at the bottom and mark it off because we don't want glitter in the middle Okay, now I just need to do a little touch up and you're going to set it aside until it dries and take your excess glitter and try to pour it back into your glitter container. <laughs> and now we're going to choose some fun patterns and different sizes for our mini album. And then for the very front page, I took a piece of paper that measures seven inches by five and a half inches and folded it in half. And this is going to be perfect for a hidden photo and journaling. And here's a fun tip. Try cutting out images from your paper for embellishments. I couldn't resist using the Corky Awards for embellishments. And my personal favorite, I do what I want. <laughs> if my cat could talk, that would be her motto. <laughs> okay, so now it's photo time and I'm using my new print pocket and I absolutely adore it. It's super easy to use, which I love because sometimes I feel like technology is against me. <laughs> To use it, you just plug the print pocket into your phone, open the app, and find the photo that you want to use. It could be from Instagram, Facebook, or from your personal library of photos. And as an added bonus, there is an editing program 
in the app, which I really, really like. Save those photos in your draft section and you can print them at a later date. The most magical thing about the print pocket, you'll have to wait until later on in the video, but it is definitely a must see. Until then, we're going to decorate some more. So I'm just taking a cute little strip off of the pattern paper and I'm going to make a mini banner. And then on top of that, we're going to take a phrase sticker in gold. And these are from Dollar Tree. And to attach my photo, I'm taking off the backing because it's actually a sticker. Definitely a plus in my book. Okay, so this is important. We're going to take some kind of piece of paper or medallion or embellishment and have it peek over the top of our paper on the back page. Where we're going to punch our hole for our ring. And to make it a little bit more sturdy, I recommend putting a little bit of washi tape on the back side to help reinforce the hole. And then to make the front just a little bit more fancy, I'm adding some ribbon. And this one has little tassels on it. And to attach it, I'm using hot glue. Keep in mind, when you're making your mini album that's going on the stand, I recommend only doing a few pages that are somewhat lightweight. But if you're using a large ring or a book ring, you can put as many pages as you want and go all out with the embellishments. And since we're using a mini ring for the one that goes on the stand, you will use a tiny hole punch and this is one eighth of an inch and try to keep all the holes centered this will help distribute the weight evenly when it's in its stand remember if you're just using a large book ring and not using the card holder stand or the jar you don't have to worry about distributing the weight evenly you don't have to use chipboard which is also nice if you want to use supplies that you already have at home. So on the inside of our secret compartment, I try to keep the decorating to a minimal so that there'll be a lot of journaling on the left hand side and then on the right hand side, the photo will be the main focal point with just a little bit of color to make it really pop. All right, this is really awesome. We're gonna go back into the print app. I'm gonna click scan. And then we're going to scan this photo. Are you cool? I turned around and you were laying at the foot of the bed and now you're underneath the sheet by the pillows. So that is really cool. You can have little videos for your photos. I personally think this is the most magical thing ever. I just imagine filling my scrapbook up full of photos and then scanning all my pictures and have all these awesome memories come to life. I absolutely can't wait to send my pen pals some interactive photos. And if you're wondering, they don't have to have the print pocket. All they have to do is download the free print app and scan the photo. So yeah, this is some next level stuff here. <laughs> okay, back to the tutorial to close the hidden compartment i used a mini clothes pin and then to spice it up just a little bit i added some gemstones and half pearls and now i'm taking my ruler and finding the halfway point marking it and use my crop a dial to punch a hole in the chipboard if you don't want to use a crop a dial to punch your hole you can always just use cardstock and make a mini album with the large book ring. Or you can just use cardstock and just use one piece of paper and do a little bit of decorating in your photo and that would be just as cute in the card holder. For example, you could use the hidden compartment page that we created and just use that page in the card holder. 
And now it's time to add our book pages to our mini book ring. And this book ring is by Tim Holtz. And for this one, I tried to have it really fun by alternating different size pages and colors. And then on the front, I added just a tiny award just for an added interest. And then for the top, we're going to make it super cute with a little bit of tool. But if you don't have tool, you can use ribbon or just leave it plain. And then for the bottom, I'm going to add just some more ribbon. But this is totally optional. You can leave it plain. You don't even have to add it to a lid. Actually, you can just leave it on the stand. But I wanted to have it a dual purpose interactive mini album. So I thought the jar would be perfect. And you can have a little gift inside. Okay, so now we're just going to do a little flip through of our mini album. And then you can add photos to the back of your pages, add a little bit of journaling. The best part of all, you can customize it exactly how you want it to be. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and please let me know in the comment section what you would like to see next. So I hope you have an amazing day. Toodles!